Guys, this is uh, one of the most common relays that we would run into. More prevalent on older equipment where circuit boards were not yet used for certain functions, but it's still used commonly nowadays. It's a double pole, double throw, 9340 relay. We're going to take check out what the designations are on this relay and what it is used for. Here is our double pole, double throw relay, and here is my expert drawing of the pins on top of this relay. As you see there's four here at the base, one, two, three, four. That is the coil of the relay. There are two poles of power up at the top. Now we're going to separate those out, color code them so we can see what we're talking about. As you see at the bottom we have highlighted four spaces in red. That is where the coil voltage connects. On one side you would have your common, either one, and on the opposite side you'd have your hot. 24 volts on this particular relay. Of course some coil voltages are 120 or 240 but for most of mine it's 24 volts. So that is your coil voltage there in the red. Keeping in mind one side is common and one side is your hot. As you see now we have a highlighted section in green and silver. Those are the two different switches, the two different poles of the relay. We're now going to draw in the symbols that indicate how the switching action works. Here is the first set the first switch. We're only looking at this section up at the top. So you have a number one, two, and three that labels each one of these pins on the relay. As you see, they're the ones at the top. One, two, and three. See this line goes across, over, opens, and is down to number three. That means it is normally open between number one and number three, meaning no voltage can flow through there. You see the symbol here, it's just like the open symbol except there's a slash through it, meaning it's normally closed between 1 and 2. So as you see, it's normally open between 3 and 1, normally closed between 2 and 1. What happens when there is voltage applied to the coil? We have our common and hot flowing into each side here. One side is common, the other side is hot. This normally open switch closes and voltage flows from 1 to 3. And the normally closed switch will open. Normally closed and normally open is talking about when there is no power to the coil. So when there is no power to the coil it's open between 1 and 3 and closed between 1 and 2. Power flows through here but not through here. When you energize the coil power flows through here and is closed is open between 1 and 2. If we look at 4, 5, and 6, it is basically the same thing as 1, 2, and 3. Normally open between 4 and 6, just like it's normally open between 1 and 3. Normally closed between 4 and 5, just like it's normally closed between 1 and 2. When you have power to the coil, 4 to 6 becomes closed, 4 to 5 becomes open. That is the switch. It switches from power flowing from 4 to 5 to 4 to 6. And that's basically all that happens on this relay. 